butter I'm going to add to the water. Here's the ingredients I'm using for my dill pickle soup. I use 20 of these carrots chopped up. Here's my onion and garlic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the carrots and the onion and garlic to the boiling water and let it cook for five minutes. These are the pickles diced up. You can get these pickles from all these. In my hand, I have two beef bouillon cubes. You can use vegetable stock or chicken stock. If you're a vegan, vegetable stock would be your better choice. If you're vegetarian, I'm pretty sure the beef stocks will be just fine. You're gonna add them in some water and bring them to a boil. Here's my potatoes. You wanna dice your potatoes small like this. Uh, this is about eight large potatoes. And you're gonna add it to the carrots and onion that's already boiling. Just right over here and add them in. Once you add your potatoes, you wanna turn the heat up and get a nice boil going. And it's time for you to add your pickles. As well as your beef, vegetable, or chicken stock. I added a teaspoon of allspice. So now I'm going to add sour cream. I'm going to add about a cup in a bowl. And I'm going to put some of the pickle juice in here as well as a little flour. Now that it's boiling, you wanna turn your heat down to medium low heat. Now with the pickle juice and the sour cream, I'm gonna add a third cup of flour and whisk it together. So now I'm gonna take the pickle juice and sour cream and flour once it's whisked together. You want the consistency, consistency to kind of be runny kind of like a buttermilk kind of, and you're just gonna pour it into here. I also added some pickle juice, I warmed it up, and I added some mashed potatoes because I would like my soup to be a little thicker and not so runny, watery. So I'm gonna add these mashed potatoes into the mix. Here's the finished results of the dill pickle soup. You can sprinkle a little dill. You can eat it with crackers or a sourdough bread.